Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured. Toured. Freedom's the answer. What's the question? You are listening to Ernest Hancock. Welcome back to Declare Your Independence with me, Ernest Hancock, here in Phoenix, Arizona, from the beautiful studios of Freedoms with an S, FreedomsPhoenix.com. We're on the line with Jack McLam. This is. You know, the, the, it's all a great story, Jack, and I tell you, that's why I put up the archive. We can spend all of our hour on the history, and I put that up there. There is an enormous amount of history. It's already archived. What I need is from the end of the last time that we talked in 0304, and we archived this, you've gone, you decided, uh, you and a lot of people that supported you decided, you know, we, we, we want to be somewhere else. And you chose Idaho because you'd been up there and you, you saw the opportunities there. And uh, so who went with you and why there? What, what particular place did you go? Well, brother, can I finish my statement that I didn't get to finish before we went to the break? Go ahead. Let me make that statement here. Uh, we police officers saw the most evil criminal prosecutors be promoted up to judgeships, the ones that would destroy evidence, manufacture evidence, and we knew all of this, and they would pay people to get on the witness stand and lie to put somebody in prison. And they were the ones that were getting the judgeships, and any honest prosecutor couldn't get a judgeship in Arizona. And so uh, I didn't know if that was happening around the country, but it was happening in Arizona. Uh, we saw that, and we saw all the criminals, prosecutors that were actually criminals themselves, getting judgeships. And now we understand it's all over the United States that this has been happening. And so I uh, went with Colonel Bo Greitz up to Kamei, Idaho, because the Indians had told us that uh, they, Indians in Idaho, uh, had told us that they would always go to Kamei, Idaho, to set up their their teepees, because in the winter time it was the most mildest place to be in uh, Clearwater, Idaho, uh, here on the Clearwater River, and uh, they could make it through the winter without freezing to death. So they would come here to Idaho County, Idaho, to set up their teepees. And then they wouldn't fight with each other, and then they would go back to to Washington State and to uh, uh, Colorado and to uh, um, Mo- Montana and uh, start fighting with each other again. But they would live throughout the winter together here peacefully. And so Bo and I decided that we thought one day there was going to be a war here between the communist government that we have today and uh, the people. And so we wanted to be able to escape and evade into the forest and not freeze to death in the wintertime. So we decided Idaho County would be the place to be and uh, to set up our constitutional communities. And so that's what we did. Colonel Bo moved, moved up here, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm within viewing distance. I can see his home from here, from my home. And uh, we uh, we set up these constitutional communities. But interesting, we had uh, 
constitutionalists come in that were really, really radicals and criminals many times. And uh, we got a bad name for ourselves up here when we brought in these criminal constitutionalists that wanted Bo to start the war with the United States government. But he said that's not why he moved up here. And so he didn't do that. And, and so they left, praise God. And so now we have a very nice community up here. Uh, we also started Christian communities. And we have two Christian communities up here. And you have to be a born-again Christian to move into that community. Um, and so uh, we're functioning very well up here. Uh, we have groups now that are getting together twice a month and talking about what's going on in the country. And we're just about to start a third group of survivalists and talk about how to survive the days ahead. And uh, so anyway. Uh, well, let's talk about that, the days ahead. What is it that you think that we're going to need to survive? Because a lot of the things I remember, the writings that you had and the articles and the speeches that you did, I, I'd gone to several. And in fact, um I've spoken with you as we presented at various different functions in Washington, D.C. You know, yeah. I, you know, we've so we've we've, you know, seen each other over the years and and you were here over the holidays. And I, I apologize we didn't get uh, able to hook up, but uh, I knew you were here and we got to talk a little bit and schedule for the, the show. But the thing yeah. is, is that. You know, a lot of the stuff that I remember as a young man in the 90s, 15 years ago, that you were anticipating exactly what was going to happen, how the military and the police were going to be used and what was going to happen, yeah. and the impact it was going to have on the economy and our liberties, uh, it happened. You know, so what do you see the next stages are going to be? I mean, I know you kind of anticipated it was going to happen faster, but it's yeah. happened in the order that you anticipated. So how well, close are we to the end here? Okay, well... Uh, boy, George Bush, our last president, and Cheney were under the direction, full direction, of the Council on Foreign Relations here, which is a globalist organization. And our phony president, because he's not our president, he's, he's, he's from Kenya. And if you go outside Kenya and you drive into Kenya, you see a big billboard that says, Welcome to Kenya the birthplace of Obama, and a big billboard outside of Kenya. And uh, we have other evidence to prove, too, he's not our president. He's a phony president, abomination. We call him abomination because he's, he's a communist <coughs> Muslim. He's a communist Muslim, and uh, we've got pictures of him getting down on his towel in the White House and praying to Allah. And, well, you know, uh, I tell you, Jack, you know, the next generation, these these volunteerist, leave me aloneist, uh, we don't careist, uh, yeah. I'm 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 with them. I don't care who's in the White House. They're not my president or my anything anyway. That's right. You brother. know, so I'm I'm telling you, Jack, you know, that they focus on these individuals and so on. Am I allowed to not freaking care? I just want to be left alone. What What's the anticipation of that? Am I is there a hope that we're going to be left alone by any level of government here in the United States, or are you just waiting for, I don't know, at the collapse of its own weight? I mean, what, what are you preparing? What do you see coming? Well, Obama Nation just last week assigned his uh, federal police and intelligence forces to begin targeting Americans opposed to him and his radical communist policies under the Violent Radicalization and Homegrown Terrorism Prevention Act that was signed in 2007. And uh, so he's coming after my military intel. Told, people told me that he has 500,000 Americans pinpointed already, and a lot of them talk show hosts, to be picked up and put in jail for opposing his government, his communist government. And uh, he's been told by the Council on Foreign Relations, my intel information, to bring us down to third world nation status as a nation, and he's doing very well at that, and put us under a Soviet-style totalitarian military rule. He has 
UN troops coming in across America right now and Russian troops coming in across America now. And, and he already has 400,000 foreign troops on our military bases here in the U.S. So when he gets the Soviet-style totalitarian system set up under martial law, he can have the foreign troops start going door to door across America. And I've been told that if you're a Christian, that uh, they pull you out in the front yard and give you two minutes to deny Christ, give up Christ, and if you don't, they shoot you in the head or take you on the bus to the 800 death camp. Well, I'm wondering where I'm going to be if I'm denying them. I just I, I don't want to take over. I just want to be left alone. We'll talk That's about right. that. When we come back, we'll be right back. That's right. This is Ernest Hancock. I'm publisher of freedomsphoenix.com and the radio talk show host of Declare Your Independence. Now, I want to give you my personal endorsement of a wealthy U.S. citizen that is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He's produced a video for you. It's a real eye-opener, and I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to watch it. www.endofamerica, the numbers 1 and 7.com. Endofamerica17.com. This video has the history of how we got where we are now and where we're going and why. Now, it's a lengthy video. It'll be about 20 minutes, but you need to watch this so you understand what's going to happen to this country and how you can protect your wealth and even benefit financially. Now, you go there. It's free. I want you to watch this video. You need to have this information so that you can survive the economic collapse that's coming to America. It's not if, it's when. That's end of America. The numbers one and seven dot com. After you watch it, you'll understand why I endorse